Hi everyone, my name is Simon and I'm going to talk to you about smartphones, CO2 emissions and how a small change in how we operate can make a big difference. We often tend to think too advanced or that the best solution requires high-end technology. But sometimes we can make a big difference thinking simple. First of all, the most important thing we do as an insurance company is to prevent damages and accidents from happening and to help our customers avoid accidents, personal losses and stressful situations. We have succeeded whenever an incident doesn't occur. Now this benefits both our customers, our business and the society. But guess what? Damages and incidents do happen in many forms. And whether it's a broken smartphone or a house which has burned down, it all represents a waste of resources. Every damage represents increased emissions, increased production and increased waste. Now, as an insurance company, we strive to handle our claims more sustainable, mainly with procurement as our most important tool. And here we have a great potential. Now, let's take a look at some numbers first. It sold 1.7 million smartphones in Norway every year. It is estimated that every Norwegian will buy over 40 smartphones during their lifetime. Now, that's a lot. We insure over a million Norwegian households. And knowing that every Norwegian owns a smartphone, we estimate we insure 2 million smartphones. Damages related to smartphone is by far our most frequent claim. Since 2017, we have handled almost 200,000 claims. It's about 50,000 per year. So our solution from our position in this supply chain is to reuse and repair in a greater scale than we have done before, rather than just replacing every phone with a brand new item. We believe we can repair about 80% of all claims, which is 40,000 smartphones per year. Replacing 40,000 smartphones represents 4.4 tons CO2 emissions every year. But by repairing, we can cut the climate footprint with 69 kilograms of waste and 88 kilograms of CO2 per phone. Now, that's equivalent to flight from Oslo to Bergen. And with this, our cal calculation shows that the potential of repairing is enormous. If we do this, we can cut the climate footprint with 3,500 tons CO2 every year. And that's just by going from replacing to repairing smartphones. That's a substantial and good contribution. But to fully utilize the repairing economy, there are some issues we like to address. First, many things aren't made to last, like the smartphone in my pocket. Many things aren't even made to be repaired. Second, the reparation economy does not fit customers' behavior and needs. It's often more time demanding and even more expensive to repair than to buy something new. Our smartphones is our most loved item. We use it for work and for entertainment. How long can we be without it? And if it's both cheaper and faster to get a new phone, why don't we all? And third, many customers do appreciate that we handle their claims more sustainable but still, many customers expect to get a new phone. To summarize, by utilizing procurement as our tool, we strive to design a cheaper, faster and smoother customer experience in order to gain their acceptance and goodwill to choose to repair instead of getting a new phone. So I leave it with that. I thank you so much for your time and I hope you too choose to repair the next time you have to make that choice. Thank you.